What is up guys? Rogue Eats here. And today I'm going to be talking about a certain topic that certainly came to mind after watching one of my YouTubers. Now, Merc Music just did a rip Xbox 360 um video. He won um he won trash talking or anything, but he was just talking about how you know, like the memories and stuff. And then I got a thought and I thought I might talk about it. So, if you guys don't know, uh, well, I shouldn't say don't know, but, uh, the Xbox 360 lifespan is coming to an end. Um, they have already stopped production on, they already stopped production on, like, Xbox 360s, so they're falling in short supply now, and mine just recently got the ring of death, and I kind of destroyed the remains, but, um, we'll get to that later. But I thought I should bring up this subject and tell you guys a little story. Um, my, my beginning of my gaming career, not career, I'm just joking, guys. Yeah, because I'm an MLG Pro Sports 360 no scoper. No, but guys, at the beginning of my, at the beginning of my gaming, uh, life span, I started out with the PlayStation 2. Which I liked only for Sonic and all that. But then I moved on to the 360. And I loved it so much. Because uh, my uncle played it. And my dad played it. So I just picked up a controller. And just started playing. Some of my favorite games I remember playing. Were, were like. Uh, uh, COD 4. And um, there was like more games. That I'm just forgetting. But then when I grew up. I started playing Red Dead Redemption. And. Um, Grand Theft Auto, and, like, Assassin's Creed, and then I just fell in love, guys. I fell in love so much with the 360. But I want to make this video talking to you guys and say how much, and say that I love the 360, and I think that the 360 still has a good bit of years in it. And it, it's kind of hard for me to think, think about this, because the 360 has only been in my life for about 10 years. This being said, I don't, like, I can't really see it going anywhere. I, I guess this is how people felt about the PlayStation 2. Whenever, um, it was falling through its lifespan. But, I'd say this does actually bring up a lot of sensitive topics and all that. About, like, games I played and, like, all these other things that we won't be able to see anymore. Like, uh... I won't say see anymore because like the 360 was amazing because it was revolutionary at the time and still kind of is because we have not seen a console like that especially with like Xbox Live introducing like the new era Xbox Live. Uh, you got to meet people that you never would meet in like your school or in the mall or whatever you never would meet them and talk to people about around the like all over the world and just you know, com converse with them, and be yourself, and play, play some video games. For me, video gaming, in general, is a way to, is a way to enter new worlds, and experience those worlds, and not be so caught up in your own, and let you escape life sometimes, because me, I was bullied as a kid, and all that, and video games were really cool, because I had a world to go to if my world wasn't working out. So it is kind of emotional whenever I think about the 360 going out of style or whatever. Because I would offend I would offend the 360 to the to the brink of death if I have to, like to the tip of my tongue and the edge of my teeth. I, I will. I'll fight to say that it was a great console. There had some glitches and stuff and I know I came out with a Xbox uh, Whenever your Xbox is the ring of death. That's the thing, like, if you guys already seen the video before you're watching this one, I kind of uh, leveled a 360, but I, it was broken anyway, but I actually love the 360. And, but yeah, I just, I don't feel like we should uh, just pass it off, guys. That's the thing, I don't think we should pass off the 360, guys. I think we should at least give it the respect it needs and give it, like, a funeral or something. <laughs> like, I'm I'm not saying, like, go out public. I'm just saying, because, you know, just be, let it, let it go out with people still playing it for a couple more years. 
All right, guys. I'm back. Uh, I kind of cut out the end of the video there because I was just kind of rambling on. But, um, but yeah, uh, I wasn't really talking about nothing, so I kind of cut it, cut it out. So, hope you guys actually enjoyed this video. But, uh, but basically, like, I hope you're enjoying it. So, uh, but basically what I was saying in the last video was, I, I want the, I, I think the Xbox 360 should go out with people still playing it for a couple of years. I don't think we should just drop it. Some people would just see the 360 and think it's nothing. And, like, they just, like, throw it away or something like that. But, reality, the 360 deserves better. And the 360 was really revolutionary. You can ask anybody. We all remember when the 360 first got announced and whenever COD started getting good. And uh, a lot of people don't see it that way now, especially with the Infinity Ward. Infinity Ward um, dropping their new game uh, in Infinity Warfare, which I just watched the trailer for. Don't look that bad, but I'll do a separate video on that. But um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little commentary I just did. Um, I don't know, I just wanted to make a video about the 360 because of what I saw. And I hope you guys feel the same way that I do about the 360. But other than that, guys, that, this video has been way too long. Um, I will see y'all in the next video. Rebel Beats. Out. Like a bullet train.